Welcome back to this channel. This is uh, AutoCAD for Mechanical Engineering. This is lesson number 28. In this lesson, we'll just continue to talk about the basic principle of uh, isometric drawing. Let's just here make uh, a very simple example of how to work with uh, isometric drawing. And uh, here we'll just um, uh, type, uh, activate the command, the line. So activate the line and then put line here. We we'll just put here 75, enter and then uh, to change the position as we saw uh, we just type f5 okay now it is changed and then we'll put here 100 enter so and then if i want to change again just go here again to f5 to change it is changed now i will put here again 75 enter and then we can go down so to track a line to track a line we need to make sure that this uh, snap it is also on and then if i go here snap objects go to polar tracking and then make sure that you have here 30 degree and the track using all the polar it is also on just click there so now i can track so i, I can track here as you can see so i can track just by put the cursor right there and it, it will track so that's 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 the way we use uh, uh, polar, but make sure that, that it is a 30 degree there. So you can just come here and then click. Okay, so the next one here. Okay, so uh, uh, and then uh, just make sure and then you can track. Okay, it is there. Good. So the next one here, uh, what we can do uh, is, um, as we can see, so we need to use the here ellipse. Just can come here, click ellipse, and then make sure that, that you have the ISO circle activated. Okay. Now you can make the ellipse. So this position it is right, but we can also change here F5. We don't want this one. We don't want this one. We want the top, which is this one here. Just come here and then uh, click. Good. So the next uh, step, we can also here make a trim. We just uh, select the cutting edge, this one here, and then enter. Now come here and then click that line. Good. So this is uh, an example how to use the isometric drawing, the very basic principle. Now, if we want to, to uh, make a parallel line, as we saw, we need to use a copy. Just come here, click copy, click the line that you want to, to copy or make offset, enter, specify the base point here, and then you can move. I will just put here also 25 as the distance. Okay, and then enter. So if you uh, if I want also to copy this one here, I can also click here and then I click there. Come here also here in uh, copy, enter, specify the base point, click there, and then move. So I don't want this position, change in F5. Okay, that's the one I want. And then specify the distance, 25, enter. So like we are making the offset, but it is not offset. So that's uh, the way we we have to use um, the isometric drawing. If you want to copy a line, so here, instead of using tangent, we use quadrant. Okay, so you just make sure that, that, that you have a quadrant instead of tangent. Click there, click also down right there good and then enter so we can also here uh, make some trim of line that we don't want just this is the cutting edge and then enter and then can delete this line here good and also we can uh, trim also this line uh, cutting edge so we can also make here some trim of this line and also that line in there okay good so uh the next step here we can uh, make another i can also delete this line i don't want it anymore we can also make another uh so ellipse here iso circle again put here click i don't want this one change in f5 also not, not that one that's the one i want and then we can uh, make the size so just put here 15 enter so uh we can also join this line here if i can come here click that point then move to that one 
goods and move to that one so can just can also join this one here okay and then come come here quadrant enter move that one and then click that there goods then enter can also here make some trim and then uh, in the trim here we can also select the cutting edge this one here enter and click that line so that way uh, we we use uh, the automatic drawing we can also um, copy this uh, circle here we just select this one here so we'll just copy okay base point was uh, uh, will be there then down again f5 to change the position so that that's the one i want we we'll just a little bit down and then enter so if we want to make here some cutting that the cutting edge enter and then come here delete so that's a very basic example of how to use the automatic drawing and then we'll go just to the next lesson and, and start talking about the dimension how can we make the dimension in automatic drawing so see you to the next lesson